Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and welcome to my kitchen at Southern Foods at Home. Today we're making a beef tenderloin roast, or Chateaubriand, with mushrooms. The recipe's been around for about 200 years and is great for any special occasion or holiday. It actually has less fat than a standing rib roast or a ribeye steak. Isn't that right, Dana? Actually, yes. The beef tenderloin roast has six less grams of fat than the prime rib per six ounce serving. Sounds good to me. Now let's get started. We'll start by removing the beef tenderloin from the vacuum sealed bag. Now we'll rinse it and pat it dry with a paper towel. The Chateaubriand is about a three pound size and we really only need about two, two and a half pounds for our recipe, plus it's kind of large to fit in our skillet we're using. So I'm going to remove the top or the head section and use that for some steaks later. We'll start by heating our skillet over medium high heat for about one minute. Make sure it's a skillet that can go into the oven so it has an oven proof handle. In the meantime, we'll season all sides of our tenderloin roast with some fresh cracked pepper. Next, we'll add our butter to the hot pan and we'll melt. And we'll add our tenderloin roast or Chateaubriand. We're going to brown it on all sides to seal in those juices. Next, we're going to add one quarter cup of our beef broth, our thyme, and we'll place it in our preheated 425 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 120 degrees. Remove the roast from the oven and let it rest for 10 minutes. Now we're going to use the same pan to make our mushroom sauce, but notice we have a pot holder on the handle because it's still hot from the oven. We'll turn the pan to medium high heat and we'll add our two tablespoons of butter. And we'll melt and add the mushrooms. Now we'll saute the mushrooms for about three to five minutes. Next we'll add our garlic and we'll saute for only about one minute. Now be careful here, don't burn the garlic because it'll be very bitter. Next we'll add the red wine and we'll reduce it until it's almost completely evaporated. Boy, now the house really smells good. Now that the wine's evaporated down, we'll go ahead and add our beef broth and we'll simmer this to reduce by half. Now it's important to remember to use beef broth and not beef stock. We're reducing the beef broth down to a stock. Using beef stock would be just too heavily concentrated and you're almost getting into a demi-glaze at that point. Now the secret to great mushroom sauce is to make sure that that broth is reduced by 75% before adding our heavy cream. And after about a minute or two, we'll go ahead and add our remaining thyme, a little salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and we'll bring it together. And serve. We're going to serve this with our mashed potatoes and some asparagus. Remove the strings and we'll carve. 